Hi guys, so in this video we will see how to integrate GitLab private repository with the Jenkins. So for that purpose we can use the project access token and personal access token. So using the project access token we can access a specific private project in the GitLab and using personal access token we can access all the private projects created in the GitLab from the Jenkins. So in my GitLab account I have these two private repositories. One is my private GitLab repo and my private GitLab repo two. Okay, so let's try to access these two private repository from the Jenkins job. So in the Jenkins, just create a freestyle project and just go to the source code management section. So select git over here and here we need to add the repository URL. So let's add the first URL. So this is my first private project in the GitLab. So once I added that URL over here, it will give me the error over here. Okay, HTTP basics access denied. So that private uh, GitLab project is accessible to only authenticated person who has access to that repo. So let's uh, try to create the project access token for this first private project. So for that purpose, you can go to the just open the project and just go to the settings then go to the access tokens. Okay, so here you will find the project access tokens. So click on add new token. So this is my token name, then you can select the expiration date up to which this token is valid. Then from the role, I will select let's say developer and from the selected scope, let's select this checkbox API. So click on create project access token. So you just need to copy this value for this token. Copy it, then again go to the Jenkins job. So here we need to add one credential first. So click on add then Jenkins. So from this type you need to select the username with password. So username you can provide anything here easy see one. In the password field you just need to paste the access token you have generated for that specific project. So in the ID again I will add the easy one and give some description over here. Click on add. So credential is created. So from this drop down, just select that credential and click outside. So now you can see that error has gone now. So just add the branch you need to build. So that is my main branch. So for this first private project, I have the main branch to build. So I have selected the main and click on apply and save. Click on build now. So Jenkins has successfully cloned that git remote git repository. Okay, and in the workspace you can find the files from that repository. Similarly, let's try to access this uh, my private GitLab project too. So we have created the project specific access token. So we cannot access this uh, second project using that token. So let's try that. So I will copy this URL from the Jenkins. Let's use another job. Go to configure SCM select git add that URL over here. Okay, we got the error. So from the credential, let's select the credential we have added for the first private project. Click outside. Okay, it is still giving me the error because project access token is accessible for a specific private project. Okay, so if you want to access all the private project, you need to create the personal access token. So let's create the project specific token for the second project. So again, go to the settings, access tokens, click on add new token. So let's add the another credential for the second project. Click on Jenkins. Let's say this is my G2 password paste the access token. So let's select that credential for the second project. Click outside. So error has gone now for this second private project from this GitLab.
and we are able to build that project also okay so only thing is we miss the branch name over here so we have a main branch not the master now it is successful so we have seen how to access the private repository using the project specific token so now let's see how we can use the personal access token to access both this project from this gitlab into the jenkins so just go to the your profile then go to preference click on access tokens so currently i do not have any personal access token created otherwise you will see the list over here so click on add new token so token for jenkins user then from the scope again i will select the api click on create personal access token so again copy this value okay so you can add the credential from by opening the specific jenkins job by using this jenkins okay and another way to add the credential that i will show you go to dashboard then go to manage jenkins click on credentials so in the credential section you will find both the credential you have just added for uh, project 1 and project 2 okay so from here also you can add the credential and you can access those credential inside the jenkins job so click on system then global credentials okay so click on add credential so we are adding the personal access token from the credentials section so again you need to select the username with the password then give some username then in the password paste the personal access token value again id i will give the same okay and click on create so now this credential should be available in each and every jenkins job now okay so let's go to dashboard open the first jenkins project go to configure so from the credential drop down let's see we got that credential now so select that credential to access the first private project from the gitlab click outside okay we are not getting any error that means we are successfully able to access this private repository from the gitlab in the jenkins using the personal access token okay and let's access the second project as well go to configure Select the credential for the personal access token this time. We are not getting any error. That means we are able to access this uh, private GitLab repository in the Jenkins. So this is how you can integrate the GitLab private repository with the Jenkins using project access token and personal access token. Thank you.